A single track branch line to Kirkcudbury left Castle Douglas past what is now the golf course and headed out towards Threve Nature Reserve. It took two viaducts to span the Dee, which met on a small island in the middle. Only the remains of the second bridge remains close to the site of Bridge of Dee Station. The station closed in 1946 and the building is now a bed and breakfast. In many places after Bridge of Dee, the path of the A75 erases all trace of the old railway line until it reaches Ringford and Tarf Station. Tarf Station is now the HQ of Tarf Valley Limited, a business which was originally a farmers co-op established in 1901 to buy supplies delivered to the station. Tarf Valley bought the station in 1966 after the line closed. The station was the only place on the line where trains could pass. When the line opened, Tarf was named Tarf for Gatehouse, for reasons I touched on in my video about Gatehouse Station. The railway line goes around Dune Hill, then drops down onto Kirkcubri, which must have afforded the passengers some beautiful views of the town. The line crossed the Dee again by Tunland over the Prince of Wales viaduct, so called because it was completed at the time of his marriage. The bridge was deconstructed in 1966, less than a year after the closure of the line. The station ticket office, now a cookery school, is pretty much all that remains of the station. The goods yard and coal depot stood where there is now a housing estate. The line ended at the station with only a buffer between it and St Mary Street and in 1963, a rear driven train coming in too fast from Tarf failed to stop, smashed through the buffer and came to a halt outside Mr Patterson's shop. A carriage was twisted up into the air, but the only thing harmed was the temper of the provost. That was soon soothed by the publicity the crash generated for the Kukubri Carnival Week and has been immortalised in a song called The Runaway Train. The station at Kirkcubrick must have been a picturesque and bonny one towards the end of its life because it won the Best Kept Station Award from 1952 to 1964. The entire branch line was closed by the beaching cuts in 1965.